In this video, I will compare Odoo versus HubSpot. So these are both tools that offer a lot of different apps and basically are a full suite of different softwares that can help any business. Now, in terms of the actual products that they offer, HubSpot offers a little bit less and you can see their products right here. So they have a marketing hub, sales hub, service hub, content hub, a small business bundle, a commerce hub and an operations hub. Now comparing this to Odoo, Odoo has a lot more different apps. It has apps for websites, sales, finance, inventory and manufacturing, human resources, marketing, services, productivity, and a customization app. And you can see under each of these, there are different apps. And for example, under HR, you have a recruitment, you have a referral, time off, fleet, appraisals, employees, under inventory and manufacturing, you have maintenance, manufacturing, purchase, and more. And you will see there's just a lot of different apps here. Now, what I like a lot about Odoo is its pricing. First of all, you can use one app for free. So for example, if you would like to use their CRM app, which is under the sales here, and you just want to use the CRM app, then you can use it completely for free with unlimited users. And you can see right here what it looks like. It looks pretty good. So if you are only going to use the CRM app or just one other app, such as email marketing or invoicing or accounting, then Odoo is completely free to use. But if you want to use more than one app, then for 19 euros and 90 cents per user per month when you bill annually or 24.90 per user per month when you bill monthly, you get access to all apps. Then they also have a custom plan, which is a bit more expensive, where you can customize the apps and have multiple companies and you can use an external API. Now, comparing this to HubSpot's pricing, you can see for HubSpot, the pricing depends on which packages you want to use. So here are the products, so the marketing hub, sales hub, etc. Now, if you want to use their CRM, then you want to go and get the sales hub right there. And you will see you have it split up into four businesses and enterprises and individuals and small teams. Now, right away, what I will tell you is if you are an individual or small team, I would go with HubSpot because I think HubSpot is more beginner friendly and it is cheaper because also the free plan here is free for up to two users. And the sales hub starter is also only 15 euros per month per seat compared to 19 euros and 90 cents per month per seat on Odoo. So if you are an individual or small team, I would personally go with HubSpot because it's easier to use and more beginner friendly in my opinion. Now I would pick Odoo if you have a larger team, so maybe you have a medium or large business or even an enterprise, then I would personally go with Odoo because it's pretty affordable if you want to use multiple apps because you will see for the businesses and enterprises on a HubSpot, the sales hub alone is already 90 euros per month per seat or for the enterprise it's 150. Now if you want to create a bundle, where you get the enterprise plan on all of these different ones, which you do also get on Odoo, then you can see it's 4,200 euros per month. And on Odoo, it's just 19 euros and 90 cents per user per month. So if you have a really large business or even enterprise, then I would go with Odoo. And if you have a smaller business, or even if you're an individual, then I would go with HubSpot. Whether you just want to use the CRM or you want to use multiple apps, such as the marketing, service, or content hub, then I would go with HubSpot. So that concludes this comparison of Odoo versus HubSpot. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.